This show's called Drew's Views. I'm doing Car Tuesday with Steven Universe. So check it out, okay? Now people love the verse. Like, subscribe, even. Sit back and watch me watching Steven! Hey, we got Drew's views here and I'm back for a little Car Tuesday, reacting to them cartoons on a Tuesday. Steven Universe Future Episode 7 and 8 is what I'm up to today on this the last day of our year 2019. Happy New Year to everyone. And in the new year, I'll be rolling into continuing Steven Universe Future and uh, getting back to Legend of Korra as well. And that's concluded. And who knows what else is going on. We'll have to find out in the future. But in the present here, or in the past, actually, the last two episodes I watched, we had the mischievous or downright nefarious a bluebird popping in, vexing Steven with some uh, less than effective pranks just to soften him up for the real blow. Of course, that's the fusion between uh, the Ruby Eyeball and Aquamarine of My Dad fame. As part of Bluebird, she got her hands on My Dad once again, and poor Greg had to uh, lose long hair. Who knows how long he's been growing that for, but... Uh, he was weeping, holding it on the beach, then let it go out to sea. The next episode, Onion had a mysterious a bag of hair, though, so maybe it didn't actually go as far out to sea as we would have thought, but who knows? Onion could have got hair from really anywhere. He's a, a creep. But, and he also doesn't age, apparently, <laughs> like everyone else. Nothing's normal about him. That was the second episode, but back to the first one. We saw the reemergence of that pink glow that Steven's been having this season when he gets frustrated or angry. Who knows other reasons too, perhaps. But the glow went away quickly in that one when he started tisk tisking the pair for, you know, not being able to really work as a team. Only They can only get it together when they're trying to directly uh, get back at Steven. I guess their main beef was that... Uh, they, they'd both been against him. They'd both done what they were told, essentially fulfilled their Homeworld's mission, but then shit done changed on Homeworld, and where does that leave them? So they're not going to integrate. They're going to be a, a thorn in his side, perhaps, a beak in his side. But uh, so who knows? We'll see them again. I hope we do, because uh, they are pretty entertaining. <laughs> you may have gotten us this time, but we'll be out there. Hating you! But yeah, in the second one, it was, uh, we saw Rainbow again, the fusion of Pearl and Steven. They were like babysitting Onion for some reason, unknown. And I was wondering, is that, I think Zach Callum, the, the voice of Steven, is that him doing the voice of Rainbow? Apparently it's not a commenter told me, so it's a different um, actor, but um, I guess it's the only voice of a fusion that's male so, thus far. You know, in real life. Also, there was a thing with Garnet, uh, or Sunstone, rather, Steven and, and Garnet Fusion teaching these other gems about safety or shit like that. I don't know. Then at the end, it was revealed that the real video is about managing your time better, not getting burned out, because Steven, throughout the whole episode, having to fuse in and out. It was basically just a comedy, like, parody episode. I didn't completely see a larger point to it, but unless I'm missing something, but I think they just wanted to have little fun with Sunstone after the the first time we saw her at the end of us you know season five um being kind of like a 90s parody thing so who knows what we're up to today I'd like to see some more from the, the various townspeople maybe um maybe a little st Lapis and Peridot haven't done too much Garnet herself hasn't done too much this season so far um so we'll have to see what we get right now in the present with Steven Universe Future Okay, I like that last episode a lot. See a lapis-focused one, and she often does lead to some more 
I don't know, some, some of the drama or pathos that works a little better for me, I guess because of her semi-tragic backstory and how she interprets certain things and how she is one of the more flawed, I guess, char you know, main characters, or maybe not quite a main main character, but secondary characters, I suppose. And I had been, you know, saying multiple times as well, and we've been getting it so far a little bit in Steven Universe Future with some other antagonists towards Steven so far in the season. I had been wanting more about how, you know, ha literally difficult it would be to change thousands of years or however long of different homeworld traditions. Um, and for the Lavises, it's terraforming and whatnot, um, destroying things, basically. And... Uh, yeah, and this, I like this one too, because, you know, with the Bluebird one, it's like they basically just have, have a personal vendetta against Steven, and it's somewhat the same with Jasper. It's a little more complicated with her, but um, with this one, I like that they have nothing to do with Steven, but it's just like they're used to what they've been doing. I think the one phrase, like, how can we, how can something we've been doing for so long be wrong is very telling in there. I, I don't think that was, I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but... Um, that could be probably the writers commenting on any number of things. Yeah, and then it shows uh, that, he, for one, Lapis isn't, can't just change overnight. She's still going to slip off. But she is, does recognize it now, saying, you know, that was that was weakness, not strength. When she hulked out Avatar out there, as I said, they, this show's ripped on Avatar a couple of different times, I would say. And then also, yeah, with the, and just showing, yeah, it does, it does take time as well with everyone, so... They didn't get both um, of the lapises they encountered on this on board at the end, but one of them was starting to you know come around a little bit and even came to a little home world there. So slow process, more realistic is what yeah that's what I was wanting basically, and so I'm glad we're seeing a little bit of that. Well, one thing uh, they did they have been uh, even with the multiple lapises in this one the episode with the roses, they do seem to be in this future season highlighting more groups of gems or the pearls of course too like all the you know basically showing the different versions of all the ones we've already known so even more so than they did in past seasons so that's cool too all right so yeah good episode like i said i'd like to see more of this sort of theming happening uh no pink steven coming in there no pink glow steven coming in in these two episodes but we did get some stuff some good throwback type elements and some good new developments uh so looking forward to nine and ten next car tuesday we'll see if we get maybe a paradot one with some other characters we haven't seen uh, do subscribe to the channel here if you're not already do leave some comments and until next car tuesday i'm up out of here peace see you at work guys